Hey Sha Gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, uh, welcome. My name is Shahida. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel, become part of the Sha Gang. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm glad you're here with me today. You know, shout out to my girl, um, 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 Tony, because she's been an active viewer for a while. And she makes it known that she is tuned into my video. So shout out to you, my girl. I'm gonna put your name up there. Um on today's video, as y'all can see, it's gonna be another baking video. I don't have my mini me here at this moment, but he will be coming here a little on today. Um I'm making bean pie. And every time I tell people I love bean pie or I want a bean pie or just like I can't find you. I mean, obviously you can't find it nowhere in the stores or nowhere. It is like a Muslim type of dessert or something like that. It's like it's like a pumpkin pie, like a custard pie, but it's with beans. It's with navy beans. And I talked to somebody earlier today. I was like, I want a bean pie. I'm gonna make a bean pie while I was working. I when I got on my break I went and put the beans on and the beans are done now and let me show y'all how creamy them beans look <laughs> hold up look at them beans y'all them beans so creamy y'all girl these make the best for a bean pie and when I tell y'all don't knock until you try it don't knock bean pie until you try it. It's like bean pie, but I swear it tastes better. It's like buttermilk pie, but with beans. Like, <sighs> I can't wait to finish this, 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 this dessert so I can eat it. The recipe, I think, when I used to do it back in the day, it used to take like, it used to make two pies. So hopefully it makes two pies this recipe because obviously when I used to make it it was a long time ago when I was a little kid and I'm older now so I was I don't have the recipe no more so I found a recipe by another Muslim so hopefully it'll turn out the same way that I know it back then. If y'all don't know about me, let me tell you. Hi, my name is Shahida and I'm an alcoholic. I'm just gonna have, I'm not an alcoholic or real, but I love me some me and Jake. And I'm about to take me a shot because I feel good. It's Friday. I don't go back to work until Tuesday. I graduated from work today, so I'm out of nesting and in production. I got my new schedule. I'm off on Mondays, so today is Friday, so I'm off now. I am off tomorrow. I'm off Sunday, and I'm off Monday, and I'm going back to work Tuesday. So I'm feeling good right now and I got my EJ. I'm gonna pump and dump for those of y'all that are in the background. I'm saying you not supposed to be me on that button. Mind your business, mind your business, okay? I'm wrong. Now anyways, I was born and raised in Mississippi. I was born in a little old town called Fayette and if you don't know Fayette is mostly consumed of Muslims no I'm not from overseas I'm from Mississippi I'm from the United States okay from the United States I'm not one of those overseas Muslims that be killing people and all this shit okay now let me get back to the point okay so yeah I was born and raised Muslim my mom and my dad were Muslim my mom wasn't born it. My dad wasn't born it. My mom was born. I think she was Christian. My mom was born here in Louisiana. My dad is from Michigan. I don't know how the hell they linked up, but they linked up somehow in the little religion thing, or whatever. So I was born into as I was born as a Muslim. So I didn't know nothing of the outside world. I was sheltered from everything we could not like even though we lived in a community where there were non-muslims we could not communicate as children we could not communicate with other children that weren't muslim 
which was crazy to me like growing up we used to always try to figure out why we can't talk to them why we can't play with them we live in an apartment complex where there are mixed it's some muslim and there's outsiders and like they would be outside playing asking uh, asking our parents that we go outside play we couldn't play we just gotta look at them watch them out the window playing we used to be sneaky me and my sister talking to the talking to the kids through our window we used to raise our window up and talk to them and stuff like that give them candy because my dad was a bus driver for the outside kids um he was a bus driver he used to like you know sell candy and stuff to his kids on the bus and so we used to take go on his little candy stash and give the kids the kids they would come to our window every morning and so after school they would we would watch them get off the bus they would come to our window see how well we were doing after they you know put their stuff up did the homework and all that stuff when they come outside after doing homework after 50,000 hours we would be bored as hell in the house just waiting for them to come home <laughs> we really did not have no life for real i'm gonna tell you that but um so yeah we i was born and raised as a muslim and like we did not eat we were like as i grow up as now that as an adult we were like pescatarians okay we didn't eat meat we only eat fish vegetables we didn't eat seafood like that like bottom feeders like shrimp crawfish stuff like that we don't eat that we didn't eat that I eat it now. I love me some fucking crawfish. Oh my god. I had some crawfish yesterday. Um, anyways, I couldn't eat chicken unless we raised them. But when we were growing up, we wasn't raising chickens. But they're doing it now. Like, but I still don't think they eat chicken. But we couldn't eat chicken. We couldn't eat turkey. We couldn't eat pork. Pork was like the number one no no. Like, no no. I'm not gonna say that I don't eat pork now. But I'm just gonna leave that. Um, what else are we gonna do? Um, like we had to dress from head to toe. Like we had to wear the little head thing, the little garment thing. You know, I don't know if y'all watch Rootless, but how they dress is basically how we had to dress. In the summertime, we would go to the beach. We went to the beach one time as a child. Oh, how does it go? We got in the water, heavy as hell because those garments were like big and you know we couldn't like wear form-fitting clothes in public so our garments were very loose it didn't show our fit, shape figure all that um what else let me do something okay so um the number one thing uh bean pie was the number one dessert that i loved and when i came out when i you know joined the real world when i stopped practicing islam I missed it because it was like my mama had walked in and I stopped my conversation but uh cuz so uh, yeah when I left the uh, religion or whatever when I decided that I didn't want to practice it anymore um, and I came out here and realized that y'all don't eat bean pie like that was something that we was raised upon but y'all don't know shit about bean pie unless you know of muslim culture black muslim culture because i don't know if you know all muslim culture knows about bean pie but i know the black community culture of islam or whatever knows about bean pie and you know i went like on facebook marketplace or like looking up on facebook like bean pie and it would be different muslims like in different areas that may be by but there's nobody nobody stores sells bean pie nobody makes bean pie so if you want bean pie you have to get in the kitchen and make it yourself so that's what i'm doing I'm making bean pie and i'm going to show you all the process and it's really good like no cap it's good so don't say ew bean pie no it's, it's really good it's, it's really good I promise I promise i promise um, y'all probably want a little bit more story time about my background. So, I did leave when I was, um, 19. I left right after my sister, my sister graduated high school. Yeah, my sister graduated high school in 2018. I was 19. No, it's all time. My sister graduated high school in 2017. I was 19. 
and my sister was 17. It's water here, but I was I was 19 because their rule was we could not leave until we were 20. We were 18. We was of age where we can make our own decisions. So I left. I decided that I didn't want, no longer want to be a part of that. I didn't want to practice that anymore. So I did. And you know the hardest part about it was leaving my sister. That was like. Well, that was like one of the hardest. The second hardest was leaving my nieces and nephews because you know we we had they had built a whole community. Like you know I had siblings that was there. My older sister she was there. She had like six kids, and I left my nieces and nephews to death. And that was one of my main things of leaving because like when a person leaves, they would not let us talk to nobody that that has left so i left and they were like when a person leaves and decides that they don't want to long they no longer want to practice their religion and they no longer believe in the leader and teacher of that cult um they told all the children or yeah they tell all the children i mean they they practice basically like the families and everything like the families have their own um i don't know i don't even know how to explain it. that that's a that's a story time for a different that's a whole other story time for a different time that's a story time for a different day okay but basically long story short when you leave they make the children not talk to the people that left because they don't want you to influence them and make them think that you're living a better lifestyle which i am um then they are so we were so that was my main that was like one of the biggest things that kind of kept me there longer than i wanted to be there was my nieces and nephews because i love them and i know that they're probably going to be forced to stop talking to me because i left i still talk to my babies um yeah on another note off that subject yeah we're gonna get into this um cooking thing i'm about to get these ingredients ready and get this recipe started because the pie takes about an hour to bake so i'm trying to taste this pie now right now okay okay i'm about to listen to some music and finish sipping and um get this pie going and y'all gonna see the process i'm gonna show y'all all of it i'm excited because i love me some bean pie I wish I can give y'all something through the phone, but when y'all see this recipe, y'all gotta try it. Please try it, okay? Because it's really good. It really reminds me of pumpkin pie. When I first left, when I first left and I tried pumpkin pie and I had pumpkin pie, it reminds me of just like pumpkin pie. Or I'm trying to think of another pie that y'all would know that it would remind me of. And somebody was like, I didn't know beans is good, sweet. Maybe beans is good, sweet, savory. It's good all type of ways. So it's not like red beans where red beans is mostly good for us of red beans. But um, yeah, we're about to get into this video. If you like this video so far, if you want to know more about, you know, my background and stuff, throw some comments. So y'all, my sister, she ended up leaving like a couple years after me. You know, one thing that kind of like hurt me the most because I thought my family was like closer than, you know, what, what it was or whatever. And when I told my dad that I wanted to leave, he was like, well, when you leave, just know that I'm not, gonna, I, I can't be there for you like I am now. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, and it was like something that I was expecting. But it was still like, damn, I thought we was closer than that. Like, man, my dad used to be close. Like, But now it's like, we're trying to rebuild our, our um, relationship, I guess. But we still don't talk often, like every day, like I would love for us to do. But I mean, I guess it's life, you know? 
we grow up we make our own decisions i mean everybody makes their own decisions like you know did your parents fault you for making the decision that you wanted to be muslim and you wanted to leave them like you barely talk to them like you know i try not to get into the deep stuff like that because you know I'm trying to respect them and their space and their privacy but this is also my life too so i have every right to talk about my life if i want to talk about my life but i'm going to get into this recipe here and i'm gonna talk to y'all after i get finished with this because the more i keep talking the slower this video is actually gonna be and i know y'all are waiting to see me make this stuff so yeah my mama made some fried fish and that bit pups and let me show y'all look at that fish oh my god and my mom she's still kind of like on that diet but she do dip and dab a little bit just a little bit just a little bit now I'm about to get some music on my, I'm about to get these uh, things measured out so I can get this video when it started. So I'm just gonna see out in a little bit.
like the next day i'm sorry the cake i mean not the cake the pie had got finished i ain't gonna say it got finished late but it was a little bit late and i was tired as heck when i got done so shit, i ate half the pie and went to sleep but i did get some footage of it and it did make two pies and um it's like 7 45 7 in the morning and i'm about to get me another piece of pie because it was a bug just like i knew it was back in the day let me show y'all because two pies i made two of them so this is the whole one y'all when i tell y'all shit busting that shit buzzing. Let me show you the inside of the pie, though. And this is the inside of it. Look at that texture on there. So, oh my god. Those delicious. Y'all got to try this. Don't say I ain't put y'all on, man. <laughs> 